Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsist and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So let me get you caught up in what's happened since last time. Uh, our duplicates got a bit nicer accommodation, each their own room. And by the number of rooms, you can see we also have more duplicates at hand because food wise, it went pretty good. Uh, also made this into a proper form with uh, irrigated uh, form tiles and so on. Uh, added uh, a poke shell form here to the side. Um, decorated the, the hatch form there. Extended the kitchen. Uh, and that's i think most of it up here um change some of the ladders with uh, plastic because uh, they just run faster then this water tank extended so we can store quite a bit of water down here to bridge the time when this geyser goes uh, dormant uh, and then down here uh, currently we have steam that's quite hot uh, so before we place the uh, steam turbine we have to wait for that to cool down and that will probably not happen before this volcano gets dormant and because we have so much steam in here i don't want to uh let it escape uh, and condense out here i have locked this up i have also been peeking out in various directions to see uh, what 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 do we have around here uh, in our base uh, mostly down here because we need some oil and over here I found an oil well which we will tackle today so we will have an oil well we will have oil processing facilities uh, as well I think uh, somewhere down here we will have a proper uh, steel production facility uh, with cooling and everything that we need and then basically that should then cover the basics for the game and uh, we can we can see how we progress with uh, with all the story traits that we have yet not explored so but first uh we need this oil to get to this oil well here and i'm thinking let's just go down here and over there and down there um, we also need a water for that and I think we will take the water from from out here respectively How do I do this? We don't need that water to be cooled, so... Let's do it this way. And... And probably have it go... Down on this side. Leave a bit of space there. And 
Then down here we will have, is it in station? Is it in refinery? I can never remember where we have the oil well. Or utilities, it's in utilities. Of course, always the last thing you look. And this one needs power. We do that with, uh, with iron, because uh, from the last uh, volcano, iron volcano outbreak, I saved a bit of, uh, of iron. And we can use that and then uh, water we pull through here and as it is not cooled down hopefully the water does not freeze in here otherwise we will have to make this an isolated pipe and from there ooh, we need a second pipe for the oil to pump up uh, we can have that going on the side uh, but let's the, let duplicants finish that first, uh, then I will dig out around here a bit to have a basin for the, for the oil. And we probably also want to have a bit of head space here. Uh, because this one will also siphon of natural gas that we potentially want to to harvest and then as mentioned here we will have kind of uh, a steel production facility and somewhere in this area we will then have uh, um, the means to refine the oil into petroleum and uh, burn the petroleum in some some generators to get some uh, some more power and then we probably need to uh, to have a proper uh, power set up going so a lot of work so let's get to it and uh, then I will be back with an update. Water is incoming and we also have power done here. We have not yet built the pump. We need to build that out of seal unfortunately. Because temperatures of the oil are a bit on the high side. But it looks like all the oil wells are packed in this corner here so if we need more oil um, I'm sure we can we can get it but as you can see almost everything that I let out is uh, is done we have a power generator here on this side which we will eventually connect to this setup and then we can disconnect uh, the thing from here to there. And here I also have a connection planned out to go over to this side. Um, then here we have the oil refinery, uh, which stores the petroleum in here with a pump for the natural gas out here, filter, uh, so we only get natural gas into these uh, generators and the petroleum goes in here. Um, 
all done with uh, a uh, battery ray and uh, that should work out we have a bit of power uh, stored in here that we will actually need to kick start the refining of the oil um, so we will have to wait on that to happen which yeah oil is is coming in and it has quite a bit of a, a way to to go there um, so let's wait for that and then hopefully we can see this whole thing kicking in and here on this side we have the main uh, trunk of our power line going down uh, we will also extend that upward and then we can have more uh, power facilities or power appliances here in uh, in this uh, this colony we are producing petroleum uh, which is flowing through here and then we should see shortly uh, how we uh, use that in order to create even more power and they will start up once uh, we uh, uh, fall below the, the threshold there nice uh, natural gas generators are also running and we have also hooked up this line to our gas stove uh, up here so we can get even a wider variety of food all right so i think the next step is actually the steel set up uh, because we do have enough steel for one steam turbine uh, and we will do that and once we have then enough steel we can sort this set up uh, out here and we have to be careful about the steam in here because if it is too hot uh, the steam turbine will not work so I think ideal temperature is around uh, 125 130 degrees um, but yeah let me figure out how and where we will do this uh, uh, steel refinery and uh, then we probably should also connect this up now that we have that set up going uh, we have uh, the, the petroleum that we can use there uh, so that we can break uh, all these lines this is the layout of our new steel refinery we refine the metals down here then here we have basically uh, set up where we can store the uh, cooling fluid and decide do we need to cool it or are we cool enough and then up here we will have a system that does the actual cooling unfortunately as i feared the pipe for the water broke here because the water uh, froze in the pipe so that's why we have to replace all the pipe with insulated um, with insulated uh, pipe so that that can be avoided and then we also want to connect these things here so we can get rid of uh, 
the power line connecting uh, these two systems and we can hook up that one there. So as you can see, there is still a lot of work uh, to be done before we can start this one, but basically everything is, is let out. And here, of course, we will have uh, uh, a liquid lock of a kind. Uh, because in here we will have or down here we will have uh, a steam room and here on top we will have a steam engine um, and uh, I'm not yet sure how to cool that one uh, usually uh, I have a cooling loop from the outside going through but I think what we can do is take the output water, uh, run it through down here, have a bit of liquid down here, and that should be enough to cool the, the whole thing. Um, especially if we also have hydrogen atmosphere here on top. But let's uh, figure out uh, the rest and let the duplicants build this thing up and then we can finish this factory here it is done mostly as you can see uh, we have the steam turbine and I did have to refine a bit more steel with this setup while it was not yet ready but this being in a cold biome, it was not too difficult. And as you can see, uh, we are doing great. Um, the way this works is um, we push the, uh, the used crude oil up here and then basically it goes through here. Um, this then is controlled uh, by a bit of automation to enable the uh, steam turbine. Um, of course, only if it's hot enough. And currently we don't even have steam in there. And the core piece is basically around here with uh, two um, control networks with uh, different settings slightly apart uh, so that we can decide do we want to uh, loop the fluid around here to cool it down more or is it cool enough so we could uh, again uh, pump it in to our refinery and as you can see we do have uh, hydrogen gas in there and a bit of crude oil on the floor and hopefully this does the trick and with that I also hooked up a second uh, second well this one we cannot hook up because this is uh, here in neutronium so we can place an uh, oil well on this one but I think these two uh, will produce enough crude oil for all our needs and this volcano is currently active but not producing any iron and I assume that's because the pressure of the steam in here is too high for the volcano to erupt so we will have to deal with that as well uh, as soon as we have enough steel for uh, for a uh, um, for another steam engine here uh, we can place that in and that should then uh, cool down everything reducing the amount of steam and allowing the production of more iron 
but for now that's all for this episode and uh, next time I think we will tackle things like that which I have no idea what those are about this one I know uh, this one seems kind of logical but we will investigate all of them maybe not in the next episode but in the process of the next few hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will see you next goodbye